Our next uh, speaker uh, is Professor Gunnar Teppi from Germany, and Professor Teppi's uh, talk is entitled An Overview of Drug Eluding Balloons. So many companies, so many trials. Where are we and where are we going? Gunnar? Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, thank you very much for inviting me. It's a great pleasure to be here. And it's really problematic to have uh, an overview about all drug eluding balloons and all of the drug eluding balloon uh, trials. And I've just learned uh, from a trial from Professor Lama, which I did not know before. So it's just uh, uh, very interesting what's ongoing right now. So if we look at the landscape of drug eluding balloons, we um, uh, can name uh, different balloons which are listed um, above. This, these are the impact balloons, the sequent uh, police balloons, coda vans. Uh, then the Biotronic, Eurocore, Aachen Resonance, and Lutonics balloons. And uh, these are really the, uh, the major players, players currently. And uh, what is all the same is the drug, it's Paclitaxel. Uh, but what is different in those, um, uh, those uh, uh, balloons is they have a different carrier. Uh, and the carrier is very important. Even the drug is the same, the amount of the drug on, on the balloon is the same. The carrier is very important because this keeps the drug on the balloon, but it helps also the, uh, the drug to get into the vessel wall. So this is very important. So what you see over here, there are several CE marks. So these balloons are available in, in Germany. And these are the randomized data up to now. You see here we have um, a coronary product with randomized data, uh, and also the code events Packlecat with, uh, with uh, two studies, and Lutonics also with a study which came out at TCT. Uh, but unfortunately for those other balloons and peripheral arteries, um, uh, actually no randomized um, data. Now, uh, these are the si different systems which you see over here. Also, C Cooks plays a role. And if we look at different study types um, uh, which are undertaken uh, with these drug-coated balloons, uh, I, I have to say the first thing is there are those kind of studies which are proof of concept uh, uh, studies that just in order to show that the drug-eluting balloon is safe and effective, uh, drug eluding balloon versus bare balloon. Uh, currently, we do have uh, data on the Paco cut um, and uh, also on the Lutonics balloon. Then there is uh, the second step of um, um, studies, which are new indications in the SFA, instant restenosis. We've heard about that with stents, um, then uh, with atrectomy, then BTK and AV fistulum, and then we have the third indication. Again, for approval, but not for uh, European approval, but for U.S. approval. Now, uh, where are we um, according to the concept of, uh, of those balloons? So, um, Cook is doing a study which is still ongoing with 150 patients. Medrad has done those studies already in Europe. Eurocore is just about starting. Aachen Resonance, I don't really know about that. Lutonics released their data. Uh, uh, recently about uh, the Levant 1 trial, which was positive, Biotronic just started their study, and Medtronic is already uh, doing a study, the SFA1 study, Medtronic Invertec, which has already been started. So these are the players on the block, and there are really, uh, in the near future, a lot of data coming up uh, on these topics. Now, these are the further indications, uh, uh, and especially Medrad and uh, Medtronic Invertec do a lot of stand, uh, studies in those regards. Instant restenosis, the Copacabana trial, Medrad, BTK, two studies which will be started soon, and then one very interesting study with atrectomy together with EV3, the definitive AR study. All studies have not been yet started. Then Eurocore uh, plus stenting, uh, and I've already heard about uh, instant restenosis in BTK, and uh, there is an investigator trial I've learned today um, in instant restenosis also in the SFA. And then we have Medtronic also with instant restenosis trial. And unlike the Medrite trials, uh, these trials with Medtronic Invitec have been already started. And I'd hi like to highlight a very big trial, which is the BTK trial, with the more than 300 patients to be enrolled right now, um, uh, 100 something patients have been uh, enrolled already. So this is the last thing um, uh, which is really very important for the companies and I personally see three major companies uh, competing against each other and as you see over here uh, this season I want to uh, have as many wins as I have chins. Um, it takes a lot of time to get onto the market in the US, a lot of efforts 
uh, and therefore we have a lot of possibilities right now in Europe with all the CE marks, but these are the um, uh, trials which are currently, uh, or the, the companies who go for US approval. And uh, Medrat, uh, as far as I know, used the Thunder and Fempak data uh, in order to support the US trial, which we'll call the River trial. Lutonics have done their 11-1 trial, and uh, they're going for 11-2 uh, trial in order to go for approval for US ma market. And the, kind of the same is with Medtronic Invitec. They are currently enrolling in the SFA-1 trial, and they are uh, going to um, do the SFA-2 trial. And I think the, the race is open, and one of those companies uh, will win the game uh, according to being first on the US market. Thank you very much.